ओके हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वंस अगेन आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू द केमिस्ट्री ऑनलाइन क्लास इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी वेर डिस्कसिंग द कंपाउंड फॉर्मेशन विथ कॉन्ग्रोन मेल्टिंग पॉइंट ओके एंड वट इज कॉन्ग्रोन मेल्टिंग पॉइंट ऑलरेडी वी हैव डिस्कस्ड एंड द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ कंपाउंड फॉर्मेशन विथ कॉन्ग्रोन मेल्टिंग पॉइंट इज मैग्नेशियम जिंक सिस्टीम okay the example of compound formation with congruent melting point is magnesium zinc system uh as we know that it is a two component system the question in the examination may be asked like explain the compound formation with formation compound formation with congruent melting point with an proper example or the same question may be asked in another words explain the phase diagram of magnesium zinc or zinc magnesium system with a brief explanation okay two types of uh, the same uh, on the same concept two types of questions may be asked one is explain the compound formation with congruent melting point with suitable example if question is asked in these words then you have to explain the same phase diagram or the same uh, question may be asked in another way explain the phase diagram of magnesium zinc or zinc magnesium system okay if the question is asked then you have to explain the same system okay now uh as you can see on the screen this magnesium zinc or zinc magnesium system the phase diagram consists of some areas okay this is one area another area this one area and this one area okay this this phase diagram consists of different areas different curves and different eutectic points okay as we have discussed the same uh, as we have discussed the phase diagram of water system and lead silver system in the same way we have to explain the phase diagram of this magnesium zinc system first of all we will discuss the this phase diagram consists of four curves namely curve ac curve cd and curve de and last one is curve eb okay to explain each curve you have to consider various phases in the phase diagram okay on the extreme left side of this phase diagram there exists a pure solid magnesium on the right side of right hand side of the phase diagram there exists pure solid zinc 100% zinc is present on extremely right and 100% magnesium is present on extremely left now above all these curves there exist a liquid state of magnesium and zinc or both the magnesium and zinc exist in equilibrium in the liquid state now below the curve ac there exist a solid magnesium state below the area cde there exist a mag zinc magnesium or magnesium uh, zinc uh, magnesium di zinc or simply you can say magnesium zn2 mg zn2 what is this compound is called it is the compound formation with congruent melting point this is the corresponding melting point of that substance and this magnesium sorry mg zn2 is the alloy of these two components mg zn2 is the newly formed solid after cooling down this liquid that is called magnesium zinc di zinc okay here it is a solid state the area below the curve cde is solid state and the area below be the area below curve be is a solid zinc means how many phases are there liquid state one phase solid magnesium another phase solid zinc third phase and solid mg zn2 is the fourth phase of this system means this phase diagram consists of four phases four phases now while explaining the curves 
the curve ac is called freezing point uh, curve or the same curve is also called the melting point curve of magnesium the curve ac represents the melting point of magnesium along the curve ac two phases exist in equilibrium one is solid magnesium another is liquid state of zinc and magnesium okay along this curve ac two phases exist in equilibrium therefore we can say the along the curve ac the system is mono variant mono variant that means the degrees of freedom along the curve ac is mono variant system means the degrees of freedom is equal to 1 how it comes now as we know that there exists uh, there is no existence of vapor phase so the reduced phase rule can be applied to this phase diagram okay vapor phase doesn't exist here therefore reduced phase rule that is equal to that is represented as f is equal to c minus p plus 1 where f is f stands for the degrees of freedom c stands for number of components p stands for number of phases okay now along the curve ac components are two magnesium and liquid phases are two liquid state and solid state and one 2 minus 2 plus 1 is equal to 1 therefore the degrees of freedom along this curve ac is equal to 1 that stands for if you fix the value of composition automatically its temperature get fixed that is the applied implied meaning of degrees of freedom if degrees of freedom is 1 that stands for out of the two variables if you fix one variable these are the two variables temperature and composition if you fix the composition automatically the temperature of that composition is gets fixed okay automatically the temperature of uh, that composition gets fixed or vice versa if you fix the temperature of that component mixture then automatically its composition gets fixed that is the implied meaning of degrees of freedom okay since its value is 1 therefore if you fix the one variable automatically the another variable gets fixed the value of another variable gets fixed now uh, the curve uh, curve c d indicates uh, before explaining the areas i would like to explain all the curves the curve c d indicates the freezing point curve of magnesium in the same way the curve d e also indicates the melting point of this uh, solid mg zn2 substance and along the curve cd the two phases uh, exist in equilibrium liquid state and solid mg zn2 along the curve de also the two phases liquid and solid mg zn2 exist in equilibrium therefore along each curve two phases exist here along ac magnesium and liquid along curve cd liquid and solid mg zn2 exist in equilibrium along curve de solid mg zn2 and liquid phase exist in equilibrium and along curve eb liquid state and solid zinc exist in equilibrium means along each curve there exist two phases in equilibrium okay and e, this curve ac is called as melting point of magnesium melting point of magnesium as you add the zinc to the magnesium the melting point of magnesium reduces re decreases now this curve cd represents the melting point of this solid mg zn2 the curve de also uh, represents the melting point of solid mg zn2 now this curve ce represents eb represents the melting point of solid zinc this curve de or eb represents the melting point of solid zinc now the two temperatures needs to be remembered as far as the phase diagram of mg zn2 is concerned one is 651 uh, 
which represents the melting point of magnesium melting point of magnesium and 420 420 420 this temperature represents the melting point of zinc okay now these are this was all about the curves now this phase diagram also consists of how many regions yes areas or we can say regions or areas four areas okay the area above all the curve this liquid state exists area below curve ac there exists solid magnesium the area below c d e curve there exists solid mgzn2 the area below bc there exists solid zinc state okay four phases liquid state solid magnesium solid mgzn2 solid zinc okay four areas and four phases exist now in this area if you count the number of degrees of freedom in the liquid state okay there exists only one phase in this area there exists only one phase there exists only one phase here also exists only one phase and the, this below this curve this area also exists only one phase only one phase is existed in each region therefore phases equal to one component equal to two okay c is equal to two and p is equal to one if we put the values of c and p in uh, degrees of freedom then it will gives rise to two c2 two, two minus one minus sorry two minus one plus one equal to uh, sorry number of phases are four if we put these values then we get the number of degrees of freedom is equal to two that stands for area made putai egg point fix kela egg variable fix kela the dusra variable chi value of yala mirat nahi kya mura pratek area made aplala temperature ani composition fix kela nantaras kya fits a composition correctly sankta ether that's arthur kai hai degrees of freedom equal to two manje kai ata samza ha liquid area hai liquid states area hai upon putai egg point fix kela trapun that's a composition sangu shaktoka composition sanglatar temperature represent karu shakto ka no that is why it has the degrees of freedom is equal to two the it, its implied meaning is that to explain or to describe the composition of the particular phase we need to fix the both values both values of variables or the values of both variables temperature as well as composition if you want to it take point upon denote kela it take point denote kela the has a temperature kaya he any composition sang it look the rest of the lot that's a it's a composition sankta ita we can define the composition of that phase completely with the help of values of temperature as well as composition that is the implied meaning of f is equal to two this phase diagram also consists of three eutectic points c d and e these are the eutectic points means where the different phases exist in equilibrium or different curves intersect with each other such points are said to be the eutectic points and this phase diagram consists of three eutectic points c d and e now at every you take the point the degrees of freedom is equal to zero what does it mean sir now this is a non variant system at every you take the point in the phase diagram the system is non variant or zero variant manje titha tacha artha kay ki at this point c how many phases exist in equilibrium solid magnesium liquid phase as well as solid mgzn2 
three phases exist in equilibrium at point C, as well as at point D, uh, at point D, there exists only two phases, one liquid and one ZN2. At this point E, how many phases exist in equilibrium? One liquid state, one solid MgZN2 and another solid zinc state. These are the three phases exist in equilibrium. Therefore, at point C, E, Hakta C and E la system is said to be zero variant. System is said to be zero variant. Why? Because three phases exist in equilibrium. Therefore, P is equal to three and number of components is equal to two. Two minus three plus one is equal to zero. What is the implied meaning of zero variant system? That suggests that even if you change, even if you change the value of one variable, one of the phase gets disabled. One of the phase gets disappeared. Manje, upon has a temperature, C point the temperature, suppose it is uh, 200. Okay. If we increase the temperature slightly, 210, then the this point will move here. And now at this phase, this uh, liquid Solid magnesium phase does not exist. Here point la solid magnesium state exists karel ka nahi. Okay. At particular this point only the three phases exist. This phase, this phase and this phase. Okay. Otherwise if you change the temperature slightly one of the phase gets disappeared. Or vice versa if you change the composition then in that condition also one of the phase gets disappeared only at this point only at this point three phases exist that is why the system is said to be zero variant zero variant means even if we change the uh, one variable one of the phase gets disappeared but at point d the system is said to be mono variant because here exist only two phases, one liquid phase and one solid MgZN2 phase. The system phases exist in equilibrium are two, components are two and therefore degrees of freedom is equal to one. Means even along the, at this point, even if you fix the value of temperature, automatically the composition gets fixed. Automatically the composition gets fixed. That is all about the phase diagram of phase diagram of magnesium zinc system. Okay, magnesium zinc system. Uh, before we proceed further for the next example, that is compound formation with incongruent melting point. Uh, let me ask you if you have any doubts or any problems regarding this system zinc magnesium or magnesium zinc system you can ask the your doubts